Hi, ma'am. How are you today? Sir, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Can, can you grab your license, registration, and insurance, please, for the vehicle? Is it in there? Uh, yeah. Can I hand you my license? Yeah, just hold on to everything. I'll have you step out. I'll talk to you. I'll advise you why I stopped to try to get you guys on your way, okay? Can Real I put my light on, sir? Yeah, go ahead. 17, go ahead. Just confirming your 20. Mom, stop. Is this your vehicle, sir? Yes, it is. Well, it's his mom's. No, it's not back below. Yeah. Is this your mother right here? Yeah. Are you good? No, okay. Just, uh, you have, all right, just step out. Let me talk to you real quick over here and try to get you on your way. Okay? Ma'am, just hang out for a second. I'll talk to you as well afterwards just so everybody's on the same page. It's, um, it's nothing serious. Well, that's the way I conduct my traffic stops. Just instead of you sitting there, we just talk, you know, on an eye level. It's a little bit more respectful. Mm -hmm. Sir, just grab all that. That's no, okay. I'm just it, sure I yeah, if you don't have it, I'll write down the information. I have a notepad. It's not a big deal. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right, ma'am. Just hang out for a little bit. Okay. Come over here. Just you can relax. Okay. No, you and I. I'm honestly, I don't. Okay. I'm honestly not sure. Like, if this is everything. Like, this is my license right here. Okay. All right. My mom's. I'm not sure, like, if that is everything, but the car is registered and there's insurance on it. My mom, I can give you her name if you need to, to, like, look up the insurance okay. system. What's your relation to the passenger right here? She's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Okay. Yes. yes Where are you guys driving from? Driving from? Yeah. We went to dinner down. Just keep your hands out of your pockets. I'm sorry. Nothing personal. No, 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 I know. I'm sorry. Downtown? Yes. Okay. Where'd you have dinner? What did we have for dinner? We stopped at the Andrews. Had a couple of pizza. Nice. Where were you before that? Where were we before? Yeah. I picked my girlfriend. There for? She's been there for quite some time. I would say I met her when I was 17, so I think she was working there a year before I met her, so it was five years going on, I would say. Oh, okay, nice. A long time. That's a long time. Yeah. I mean, we haven't been together. We've been together since she was 17, but she's been working there for quite a long time. So, yeah, so I have like a little one of the, I'm not even sure what to call it. Have you ever been stopped before? I have not, sir. Well, oh. I've been stopped one time for a headlight that was out on Route 9 going south. Okay. You get a ticket for that? I got a ticket and then I went, this might have been in April or May that I went and to traffic court and then I got I got it cleared. Okay, so no issue with your license? You're not going to be like suspended or revoked or anything no, like that? No, Okay. Right. Uh, right. This is her house? This is her mother's house. Her mom okay. is the one in the black t-shirt. Where are you from? I'm from the East Greenwich area, but I recently moved to Malta. From where? In the East Greenwich area. Okay. But I moved to Malta in October. In October. You know you got to change. You live. You live in Malta now. Yeah. Because when you move somewhere, wherever you're physically living, within ten days you have to change your address. Okay. So here I'm seeing Rensselaer, and that's not an accurate address, right? Yeah. No, I changed it in the. D Excuse me, in the DMV website and with USPS, but I didn't order a new ID and I'm turning. I'm like, enhanced ID I know as well from the state. I see, I see. What do you do for work? I work. After I picked her up? Yeah. We went home for a little bit, then we kept the end. Where, where's home? Then what? 
after we went home. Yeah. That's when we came back out for the NBOs. We met up some friends um, downtown uh, at the protest. So we're coming over. Oh, okay. Well, what kind of friends? What kind of friends? Yeah. She met them socially. I'm honestly not sure where she met them. Um, it was last summer that she met them. Okay. I was gone for the most part last summer. Um, it was early last summer. I want to say June. Um, met. Els, I believe. Els, um, okay. Chandler, Hickenbottom. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly not too, like, those are the only two that I've personally met before. Oh, which one? Els and? Oh, uh, Chandler. Okay. Are you guys friends, or is there more? Um, not like friend, like mutual friends, I'd say. Like friends through friends. Friendly, I guess, is a better okay. definition of how I would describe our relationship. Okay. And you guys met him out today for the, the protest, or what? I didn't, like, we didn't meet him for the protest. I met him downtown. Excuse me. We met him downtown after we grabbed the Andrews, just kind of hanging out. Okay. Um, because I know the protest was supposed to start at 6, but it didn't end up starting until later. Okay. Um, and where'd you meet him? Sorry. I, well, where'd you meet him? We meet him down today. Excuse me. We met him downtown at Congress Park. Oh, nice. Okay. So you're there for the protest? Yes, sir. Okay. How was it over there? Any issues? I know I know there was like some arrests made afterwards, but I mean, I mean personally, initially. I was pretty scared because I'm not like... You seem like a nice guy. No, like I'm you honestly... Seem, like, you seem very well-mannered. I'm really not like... It's not... I, very shy, like I was honestly yeah, yeah. very, like I was terrified, honestly. Yeah. Not peace, but just like activity, like it's not something I do well with. Um, Police activity? No, 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 just activity. Oh, okay. Like large crowds, like I have anxiety. I'm seeing a therapist for that. Um, but I'm just like still, like my heart is like, like I'm okay. talking kind of shakily. It's not something that I do well with. Um, yeah. Like I even play. I, you seem very nervous. So I am, seem like, like it's not. But you understand. You and I are just. You know, no, talking. Yeah, my like, I'm not making you scared, right? No, yeah. My father actually, like, tragically, like, I don't want to... He passed in February from COVID, and, like, when I I'm arrived... I'm sorry to hear that. Scene, no, thank you. When I arrived on the scene, there were, like, a number of police officers. This was in East Cambridge before Okay. Moved, and there were a number of police officers, and, like, I couldn't have asked anymore. Like, yeah. they were beautiful. Like, they were extremely yeah. nice. Like, they were trying to calm my mom down. Like, all these things. My sister was home. Like, it was... Yeah, It I was heard. a pretty hectic scene, but, like, I've never... The police, obviously, have given me, like, a calming, like... I just don't do well with crowds. Like, I have very, like, bad, like, public anxiety and social anxiety. Okay. Hey, listen, me too. I don't like big crowds either. No, I'm just... But, but listen, you can realize you're not... No, no, I, I can... I understand. Can I take a couple deep breaths? Absolutely. It's just... Take, yeah. But I, I know this is a little... It's a traffic stop. It's a little weird talking to a police officer, but I, I'm t treating you decently, right? We're just having a conversation, so, you know? It's the second time I've been... The first time I was for the headlight. But yeah. It's just... How was that experience? It was good. It was. We are actually coming home from my girlfriend's sister's birthday dinner. Um, Do you have a phone number by by any chance? It wasn't. It wasn't a bad experience at all. He was actually yeah. very nice. He just told me it was like just a safety thing, like just make because I had gone out I think the day before and it was just a safety thing. It was like, I just want to make sure you guys are okay. It was still March, like early March, so the sun would still go down pretty early. What were you talking about? Who wanted to be safe? Oh, when my, huh? When, when? When my taillight was out. It was oh, early okay. March. Yeah, okay. So he was just making yeah. sure, like, it was a safety thing that we were yeah. in any danger. I'm pretty sure it might have been snowy that week. Yeah. So he was just making sure that we were okay and things like that. But it yeah. was a good experience. Oh. Well, I mean, as good as an experience, I guess, could have been. That's a strange way to describe it. But he was very, good, very, very kind. Very, nice. very kind. He just gave me a, I'm not even sure what have you referred it to or referred to it but yeah I just appeared in court just it was a uh, I got it fixed showed him the receipt from the auto shop that I got it fixed and it was it was clear but yeah that was the only other time I've been, ever been pulled over oh. I haven't been driving for too long I got my license in yeah. August of 2020 so let me ask you this question did you show up there like this to the to the protest or meeting with Els and all of them guys I did not I had a jacket on you had a jacket on yeah I took it off when it started did you have rain. anything else on you no this is it okay did you have any like Accessories, any like, like a satchel or something like that. Uh, no. The, well, sorry, I don't want to put my hands. On. <laughs> no, that's okay. Can I put? It's just AirPods and AirPods and chapstick. That's all. Yeah. If you fine. can see it. Yeah. Did you? You didn't have like a satchel on or anything like no, that? Sir, backpack or anything like that? No, sir. No. Okay. Okay. Anybody so, have a backpack or anything like that? On. Um. Your girlfriend or something like that? Girlfriend didn't have a backpack. She has a little fanny pack, but she didn't bring it with her. Okay. Um. Potentially may have had a backpack. Okay. Where did that backpack end up? I'm not sure. Like we left.
Yeah, I'm not. I'm honestly, I have no idea. But he was wearing a backpack. Okay. Affirmatively, he was wearing a backpack. Okay. Um, I didn't get his name, but there was a light-skinned man. He was a little heavier set. He was also wearing a backpack. Um, I don't think L's was... But you, you don't have a backpack on you or anything like that, right? No, no, no. No, I did bring a backpack. Okay. Um, so, just so I understand, we have, during the protest, we have a lot of guys that are undercover. So, they're in vehicles that you wouldn't think that. They're like... They could have a vehicle like this, exactly like yours, and you would never guess that it's an undercover yes, car. So they just saw some suspicious activity, some some weird things. It, it's not necessarily criminal, but it's kind of public safe. But it can't kind of raises some eyebrows about mm -hmm. some things that might have been seen. Right. Okay. Um, and that's the reason for the stop. Okay. okay. Um, you did not participate in that protest or anything like that. No, I walked. It's okay if you did. No, no, to no, a I degree. Was, I was at the park. I was never in the street because, like, again, yeah. I'm like. With my father passing, like, I would never, like, I can't, like, I physically can't move myself to put my mom, like, in any kind of stress because she was at home when my father passed. Like, it was very unexpected. I was on the sidewalk the entire time. Like, I wasn't, I had nothing on me. I didn't have any, like, I didn't have any weapons. I didn't have a backpack. I didn't have, like, I was wearing my mask, but I'm not, I had sunglasses on. Yeah. Um, what was your first name, sir? Marcus, sir? Marcus, okay. All right, listen, uh, let me... I forgot to grab your girlfriend's ID. Let me grab her ID real quick. Let me talk to her, explain to her why I kind of stopped her. Yes, sir. And then just go over some things, and I'll try to cut you guys loose. Okay. Not that big. Do you mind just hanging out over here? No problem. Bit? No problem. All right, just hang out over here, buddy. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. Officer Corner, can you switch with me? Yep. Ma'am, I apologize. I forgot to grab your ID. I'm going to run uh, his information. Yeah. Uh, wh where are you guys coming from today? The park. The park? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. We're down uh, were you here for the protest or something? Um, or the gathering, where, whichever you would have referred part to? Part of it, yeah. Okay. Where were you guys before that? At our apartment. Oh, okay. You guys go anywhere after the park? Um, yeah, we hung out with our friends. We drove around. Drove around? Mm -hmm. You stop anywhere? No. Not at all? And then after hanging out with the friends, you drove over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, I see. What's, what, who's, uh, this is a family member. Is that your mother? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, who's this to you? My yeah, boy. Mark is, I was telling him he's got to update his address because. Yeah, you're talking about yeah. that. That's very tragic. COVID from COVID, right? Okay. Okay, so you were hanging out at, at home. You guys drove to Congress Park for the gathering, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and... It was a little hectic, so we... Yeah, I hear. Yeah, I, I was there. It was a little hectic. Uh, then you hung out with some friends. Mm -hmm. Who'd you guys hang out with? I don't know them by name, unfortunately. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. How long have you known them for? Um, well, I met one of them uh, probably last summer. Oh, okay, very good. Male or female? Um, I don't know their pronouns. Um, but there's two of them. Oh, okay. Um... That's a weird way to put it, but I'm trying to narrow it down to who it would it be like a white male or black male, uh, black female or Hispanic or Asian? Um, they were, they, I think they were white, but honestly, these days you can't really tell. Okay, so you were hanging out with uh, with them today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, when I have to run people's information, I have to go over dispatch and say, you know, client ID, uh, Hispanic female, white female, what would you be? Um, biracial, multiracial. What are, you, what are you comfortable with? It doesn't matter um, to me. I just have to do it as part of birth. Biracial? Yeah. Okay. And and your boyfriend, is he a black male or is he biracial? Um, okay. Kitty 2, Teddy available unit to handle a disturbance at the Hampton Inn, 25 yeah. Lake Ave. Guests in the lobby refusing. How long did you hang out uh, with your friends there, you and Marcus? Okay, well, around what time was that? Uh, thank you. Okay. you will be Where'd you guys yeah, hang out? I said, 
stand for? Like in separate vehicles? No, we were driving around in the car. Oh, well, I gotta ask. I, just, I don't want to misunderstand. We're, we, you guys were just driving around what area? Saratoga? Yeah. Okay. And you didn't stop anywhere? Um, we stopped. We got in this car, yeah. Okay. Seventeen eighty two. I'll have two by client ID. Two by seventeen. What time did you get to the park? Let me ask you this question, okay? We have a lot of undercover officers working the protests and stuff like that. They see certain things. And I'm not saying anything they're criminal in any issue. Sometimes things kind of come about. That are a little odd or weird. Okay. Is there anything? In this vehicle. That would raise eyebrows. No. Okay. Okay. I see you have a fanny pack. Is there a backpack in this vehicle? Mm, no, I don't. Unless he has like basketball stuff, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Backpack. Where would he have that kind of stuff? Maybe in the trunk, but usually. No. Okay. He plays basketball. A, yeah, at Cornell. Okay. Um. There's also a vacuum because he does carpet cleaning for my grandfather, so it looks like. Like a, like a jetpack. It's in the back. Okay. How long have you guys been together for? Three and a half years. Three and a half years? He said five. He's a liar. It's three and a half. Maybe you've known each other for five years? Mm, maybe. We started, it's 2017, so it's been a while. Okay. Eight, I'll be in route as well. Okay. Alright, I'm just waiting for your information. Give me one second. Let's go in Marcus is throwing valid the NCIC negative. Yeah. Sure, let me ask you this question. Is, I don't time. I really don't. Yeah. Guy. And I'm not going to give you a hard time, but I've got a question for you. Is there anything... Alexis is showing valid the no. file 5 out of Georgia no, Nuts. Like, I have a vacuum. I have cleaning supplies because I work for... I have a vac, like a Ghostbusters type vacuum. Yeah. Seven. I have cleaning supplies. I have two basketballs. Yeah. In the truck. A box of We're going to be on the weight gap side. Changing his subject. He is a thing here for a couple more days. Just upset right now. We're trying to get further. Trash bags, paper towels. 21 to 10. Is there anything that, listen, if you want that kind of stands out or is a little weird that you would want to tell me right now? 4217. I might have said the cleaner but, or the, the vacuum just because it's like a, uh, like a vacuum in your car. Okay, but um, not, is there anything illegal sure. in there? Any type of Catholic. weapons? No, sir, no weapons. No, sir. Okay. No. Um, there might, like, um, like stolen property? No. Um, okay. No. What? And basically anything that if I open and looked at, not being familiar with this car, would say, Oh, ooh, this is, this is a little weird. No, sir. Um, I mean, no. Like, I'm even trying to, like, the, the cleanser, the bleach cleanser might be the one thing. Um, okay. I might, there might be, like, plastic, like, like latex gloves in there. Okay. Um, 1282, I'm clear. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Mark, let me ask you, if I wanted, would you have any objection? For me to search the entire vehicle, bumper to bumper, any clothes bags, any clothes Last containers, any, cool proper, the trunk, uh, anything like that. Do you have any bumper to bumper, Wait, just to make sure anything? Frank, Frank. Uh, first thing that be all right with you if I just make sure there's nothing there that... No, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly like trying to canvas that. I'm not sure. Like, zero five, zero four, but if I see it, I'll be like, hey, Marcus, what's this? And we'll talk That's about it. But I, I just want your consent just to search the entire vehicle, any clothes containers, any clothes bags, if there's, a, you know, clothes trunk. Anything like that, just to make sure that there's nothing. In it. You said there's nothing in there. I, a vacuum no, 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 is in there. I'm honestly like there's nothing. Would you consent to that? Yes, of the park highway. Like it's, 
the vacuum, there's my cleanser, there's... Okay, I appreciate it. Okay. Five, eight, I'll try, listen, I'll try to get you on your way soon. Uh, Officer Coroner. Officer Coroner, can you ever step out, please? Sir, can I grab my bottle of water just for a drink? Is you that... mind if I grab it for you? Okay, it's a blue bottle sitting in the center console. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to try to get you guys on your way. I don't want to hold up. Just hang out of here for a second. No, no, it's just a blue bottle sitting in the center. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, just hang out with him, please. They're being very respectful. Where was it? 4210. In the center console. You got it. Right in the front. <laughs> and if it's fine, maybe in the door, the driver's side. Sure, door. sure. Would it be like a protein bottle? Yeah, the blue shaker bottle? Yeah. 4210. Kevin Choi, not on silence, CIC negative. What did you say you do for work? Excuse me one second. Five, eight, three, eight. If you come in from that direction, you come up and yep. uh, close it off at Wooddale. Uh, he's got cleaning supplies here. I guess he does janitorial work and he's got gas masks. Yep. No. 
No, it's, it's, uh, he says he works for a janitorial thing, but he could be doing a little bit of both. Their stories didn't make sense either. Four or five, eight, uh, eight, eight, no, he didn't say that. He, he didn't have anything on him. He just had a jacket. Yep. And, and. Okay, is that all? Four or five, eight, eight, eight. Okay, yeah. You can contact you with no okay. and, and is that it? Are you good with me? Uh, cash back will okay. Or okay, sounds good. Yes, I will. Thanks. Back in a second. Right. Bye. Okay, guys. Listen, I appreciate your time, Marcus. Listen, here's your information back. Let me, I got your phone. And, ma'am, can I just grab your phone Bye. in case I need to call you for some? Bye. Where are you with your partner? Handle the phone. Who's my partner? What is Do you guys have any questions in regards to this or anything like that? Uh, um, you can just try to get Okay, yeah. absolutely. Uh, the, so the way it works is at the protests, and uh, we have a lot of intelligence gathering, okay? We have a lot of undercover vehicles. We have, um, uh, so as I was explaining to him, some cars look like this. He's on Ultima. You wouldn't think it's a police car. They saw some activity related to um, the protest that they thought uh, was suspicious in a sense of... Uh, potentially weapons or some type of other uh, items that are going to be used in the protest against potentially the police officers or anybody else participating, whether they're on the same side or on the, on the other side. Okay? I talked to both of you guys. Your stories were not the same. Okay. What's that? Okay. Maybe. But I asked him a set of questions. A different story. You, I asked you a set of questions something else okay so based off of what the undercovers had witnessed at the whole event based off of my interview with each of you okay it puts me in a position where I can request uh, further investigation now sometimes uh, something that may be criminal activity can be um, kind of found unfounded once you investigate it further realize okay it's not nothing criminal in here but it kind of puts us in this uh, scenario where we have to we ask certain questions, and sometimes we end up with something more, something criminal, and sometimes something that may look criminal, in the end it turns out to be innocent or, or nothing at all, okay? So it's part of, this is what we call more of an investigative stop, okay? And this wasn't a stop for any type of vehicle or traffic law, it was just an investigative stop based off of the information I received from the undercover officers as well as other officers that were so present. So did you see him, like, doing something in the car? Is that why you were waiting in the street for us? Over, like, with the license plates or here's the thing I gave you a lot of information I can't give you every every little thing mm -hmm. okay so is there like a number that I could call to get that information oh, sure from what I understand this is going to be documented in a case report um, you can request a case um, yeah, foil, foil, I'll do foil. yep yeah. if it's, it goes through the proper channels and the uh, the chief approves it. You get a copy of it. Yep, I've, yeah, I've 
um, a phone number? So it would be 518-584-1800. And that's the uh, phone number for the police department. Okay. And then there's options, whether which section of the uh, police department you want to. 418 Are you ready? Yep. Okay. My name is going to be, I'll spell it out for you. K-H-U. K-A-Q, sorry. K as in King, uh -huh. H as in oh, Henry. H-Q, okay. T-O-R, Y-A-N. G-G-3-8-7. S-K, I-Y. Hey, what's your ETA to... Badge number 39. We've got vehicles almost in the street on the other side. This is uh, Officer Coiner, C-O-Y-N-E-R. Call the out there, 02. And what's your badge number? Badge number 9. Badge number 9. Thank okay. You. Any other questions? Anything Excuse I can... Excuse me. Okay. All right. You guys are all set. I appreciate you talking to me. Uh, sorry. Um, you know, sorry about the year, your father. Okay. No, thank you. Yeah. It's tough. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You guys are all set. Okay. Have a good night.